Good afternoon. I'm here to introduce Grace Shea, the CEO of Wamilu, but before that, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm the president of uh, Relief for Africa Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization that works to improve uh, lives of the underprivileged communities in Eastern Central Africa. And no, I didn't fly in here for this event. I actually live here in Anaba. So I'm actually here today because I believe that innovation and relief work go hand in hand and can often spur each other on. Uh, relief work uh, gets to identify the needs in developing nations and can connect those to businesses. That's why in, uh, 2000, in October of 2015, my organization, Relief for Africa, partnered with Wamilu to bring the life-saving technology to, uh, to Africa. Wamilu is a non-electric uh, warming technology, uh, which is uh, run uh, by Grace Shea. As you might be aware, Africa has a population of 1.2 billion people, with only about half of them have, uh, that have access to the electric grid. Hundreds of thousands of, of children die every year, I mean preterm kids, die every year for, uh, just from hypothermia complications because there's no electricity. So we believe that this technology will go a long way in saving a lot of lives uh, in this part of the world. We are also excited that Wamilu is spreading the warmth here in the U.S. in uh, a stadium setting and uh, patient transport in hospitals. So without much further ado, I now would like to welcome my friend, Grace Shea, the CEO of Wamilu. She's also a Forbes 30 under 30 manufacturing and industry honorary. She's a, a graduate of the U of M Ross School, School of Business and a material scientist. Welcome. Thank you so much, Rama Kanenji and everyone, for being here this afternoon. My name is Grace Shaw. I am the CEO of Warmaloo. And our non-electric warming technology company is bringing you warmth when you need it most. Warmth saved my life. I was born one month preterm, and I would not be here today if not for the incubators where I spent my early days. I needed warmth on day one. Think of a time when you needed warmth, where you were exposed to the elements. It's a big spectrum, right? <laughs> when you lack warmth, the adverse outcomes fall on a spectrum from discomfort when you're at the big game and you're cheering on your team and all of a sudden it starts snowing or raining. Or, as Rama mentioned, in resource scarce settings, the part of the warming challenge that we honed in on was protecting our most vulnerable infants who are born in areas of the world without reliable access to electricity and without access to incubators. And that causes hundreds of thousands of infants to die. Our team thought to ourselves, we can do something about this. <laughs> so we developed our now US patented warming technology. It is able to generate warmth with a single click of a disk. And so when some people look at this warming tech, it seems magical. However, every single part of this technology is grounded in my material science engineering background. Our warming technology is instant able to generate warmth with a single press of a disk. And because of our proprietary patented composition, our temperatures will never overheat or cause burns to any living animals. Our warming technology is long lasting, generating warmth for several hours. And because it is reusable, our warming technology acts as a thermal battery and is able over a lifespan to generate 600 hours of warmth. You may reset it by boiling or autoclave. Our packs are durable. They're able to withstand 1,000 pounds of weight upon them. And last but not least, our packs are modular because we cannot predict there are so many folks in the world. You have unique warming needs, and we recognize that. So we make our packs in three sizes so that the right length of time and duration is available for your needs. Now, you look at our warming technology, and it has a number of wide-ranging applications. 
our team focus on the largest impact, largest market opportunity, patient warming on a global scale. When you look around the globe, in 2015, patient warming was a $1.7 billion market opportunity, projected to grow at a 5.3% annual growth rate into a $2.8 billion opportunity by 2024. And we've just scratched the surface of it, but scratched the part that we believe brings most impact, keeping infants warm in resource-scarce settings. No easy feat. Our initial product offering is the Warmaloo Incu Blanket. It is an alternative infant incubator for resource-scarce settings where electricity is not always accessible. Our technology was successfully validated in pilot clinical trials in 2013 on preterm infants in Bangalore, India. Every year since then, we've generated revenue, this year generating $50,000 of revenue, and we are in the process of fulfilling 2,000 Incu Blanket orders. We have cleared Kenya Medical Regulatory. Because Kenya is the gold standard country in this region, it allows us to break into 10 other countries. Then, leveraging that successful regulatory filing, we are going to file with the FDA, which allows us to then market and enter 150 countries around the globe. Not only are we a team able to clear medical regulatory, but we are also one doing all of our production in-house right here in Ann Arbor. This is how we ensure quality and control of all the products that we produce. Finally, this is also how we rapidly fulfill orders to our sign, two signed distributors and three pending. Now, you might look to, at this and see the validation that we've had in patient warming. We can tackle more. We looked around and realized that the sales cycles are long for medical devices, often totaling a full year. As a result, we realized that there was an opportunity for us to dive into nearer term markets with shorter sales cycles. And that led our team during Decide to evaluate stadium seat warming right here in the US. It is a low barrier to entry market. There are no regulatory re approvals required. And in addition, we can take that same pack, not changing the composition, not changing the size, and sell that same pack to the folks like IMG College Seating, a stadium seat supplier based right here in the US. They serve 93 of the 150 professional and collegiate football stadiums in the US. And they want us to supply our warming packs for a fall rollout of a heated seat rental program. And we're leveraging that so then we can break into a $110 million near-term market opportunity that is comprised of 14,000 public high school stadiums and 150 total professional and collegiate football stadiums. We're on a trajectory for growth, one that is accelerated by diving into the US revenue stream in the stadium warming opportunity. By diving into this market and fundraising so that we may pursue it with tremendous focus, we're able to double, even triple, our 2017 to 2020 growth. This allows us to increase the volume of production and drive economies of scale concurrently as we apply for FDA. And by the time we clear FDA in late 2018, we are prepared to have high profitability and be able to fulfill high order volumes in patient transport and warming in US hospitals. This is a high revenue, high profit margin market opportunity. Our team has done this with $100,000 of investment and support from the entrepreneurial community. Our team is comprised of three full-time women who are truly amazing and represent 40 years of advanced manufacturing, material science, operations, design, and business development expertise. We are guided by the insight of mentors and advisors comprised of angel investors and serial entrepreneurs with medical technology expertise. And finally, because we are not just creating today's warming technology, we are creating the next generation of warming technologies. We derive insights from our two medical advisors, Dr. Nitin Chotai at DMC Children's Hospital and Dr. Vika Ilf Dahan 
at Mott and Bronson. Our financials reflect this accelerated trajectory of growth. Warmaloo is a rapid growth, high revenue company. We are projecting with our current orders and our pending partners to be a multi-million dollar company in the next five years with revenues of 15.5 million by 2020. In addition, not only are we a high revenue growth company, but we are also a high economic impact company. Because we produce all of our own warming technology and products, we can create within the state of Michigan and the US 50 plus jobs in the next five years. And so our next steps we're presenting to you today include fulfillment to IMG college seating and being able to scale up that production volume and have the right equipment in place. In addition, we're scaling up our personnel so that we can fulfill on our new market orders. So thank you so much, everyone. I am so delighted to share with you our journey to spread the warmth and save lives. Thank you, and I welcome all of your questions after all the presentations. Thank you. <laughs>